What's going on guys? Good morning. Kagan fishing here and uh, Tom and I came back out to the marsh and we are out here. We're way over past Freeport and some new waters we've never been to. So let's uh, let's get a little exploring done and hopefully while we're doing that we can catch some fish. Let's do it. guys so we made it to the spot we are in very shallow water but we've got a lot of bait running in here and we're just gonna work through this little area and we're gonna get back out to some bigger flats hopefully find some tail and red action there you go got one nice dude it's like a pretty good little fish yeah dang oh there you go haha <laughs> you got a fighter dude Ooh, it might be a little red or if it's a trout that's a really nice trout Yeah, that's a red, dude. He's not wanting to come up. Did you catch another gar? Yep, that looks like a gar. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Whoa. oh my gosh, you caught another gar. Wow. Oh, that's too funny, Tom. Catching a big gar. Oh, there's one. Is it still on? Yep. There we go. Fish one of the day. What? Oh, foul hooked. A foul hooked ladyfish. These guys are so aggressive, it's unreal. <laughs> Tom's still, oh there we go, came off. Tom's still fighting with that gar back over there. <laughs> oh my gosh. Guys, rain. it's raining his ass off. But I don't melt in the rain and uh, I took all the electronics out and put it in the hatch, so those guys are dry, I'm not worried about it. And we're just going to let this uh, rainstorm pass. Luckily there's no lightning, it's just rain. So we're going to let it blow on through. They've been moving really quick, it came up on us quick, I'm sure it'll pass over quick. But once it does, we're going to go blast it out and hit another, a different spot. You probably can't hear anything I'm saying because the rain hitting the GoPro. But yeah, this is what it's about! All right, guys, so we blasted down to some saltier water from that rain. We just, all, all the water started pumping out of the bayou system. So it was just looking too fresh. There was a lot of bait, but we weren't really seeing any blow up. So we steamed on down right over there, that little sandbar you see, that's the Gulf. So we're about as close as you can get to the Gulf. Uh, I'm gonna keep working up that way. But on this little point over here, there was some pretty good bait action. And I'm actually in four to five feet of water. So, you know, nice little, salty spot to try out. Let's see if I can get one. Check it out guys, from the intercoastal to the Gulf. All right, we just shoved off from the beach. 
Look at this spot. This is way too freaking cool, man. This is a really, really cool spot. I definitely want to make this my next solo skiff camping adventure spot. Definitely. And there's no way you can get out here unless you take a boat. I bet you'd find some really cool stuff along those shorelines if you walk the beach. Man, that weather keeps wanting to roll through. You saw a minute ago, I got rained on again. But it's nice, it just passes through and then clears up for a little while. So I can't really complain about that. The winds are still crazy low. And I'm gonna get back on fishing. Oh, there he goes. Dang, I spooked him out. Well, that was a red, and I hit him on the freaking head. He might have ate my lure at some point. Dang it, dude. Dang. All right, guys. I've spotted a tailing red. He was right up in there. He was just flopping around for a little while. I know he's in there, so I'm gonna go get him. Oh, there he goes. Spooked him out. Dang, dude. There he went. Dang it, man. I thought he was up further. Dang. There's one right in front of me. Right in front of me, there he is. He's running right at me. Oh. Oh, he was running right at me, dude. I couldn't keep up with him, dang it. Ah, oh, that was a red. Wow, guys, I can't believe I missed that fish. He ran freaking, he ate too. He ate and just charged that, that's why. My hook went inside. Dang you, weedless. Dang you, weedless hook. Ah, oh, dude. That guy's whole back was out of the water. Wow, that was, that was awesome, guys. I just wish I could have landed him. Dang it, dude. Dang it. Flounder. I know what, I know what they want. First cast with it too. Oh, he came off. All right, guys, I've been working hard trying to get a fish. I've seen flounder come up out of the water. This is what you gotta do. There's oyster beds, so you have to throw weedless. And I actually put on my smelly jelly. First cast with it, I caught a flounder. So, oh yeah, it's game on. It's game on. I've gotta catch one fish. <laughs> oh look, he was under the boat. <laughs> he was trapped. All right guys, bad storms rolling on us. We gotta go back to the launch. There's actually lightning and thunder in this and we're only in ankle deep water. There, I've seen five or six flounder literally flip up out of the water. I don't understand why. I hooked up onto one, but I just don't understand why they aren't eating. There's fish all in here, guys. What we're gonna do is we're gonna get back to the truck to be safe, because yeah, that's, that's a big one. We're gonna have to get back to the truck. We're gonna look up the weather and see if we can either if it's blown through fast, we could wait it out and come right back here because we're actually really, really close to the launch. But if it looks like that it's gonna be a long one, well, we'll have to call it a day. But man, awesome, awesome fishing spot.
I visually saw a flounder flying up out of the water. I don't know how el I don't know what else I could do. They liked the shrimp lure because the first time I threw it, you know, that's that's when I hooked into that flounder. But everything else I was throwing bounced along the bottom, slow work and nothing, dude, nothing. So I don't know. All right, guys, I'm gonna turn the GoPro off. I've really got to focus and I've got to get in as fast as possible. Fish on, baby. Oh yeah, that's a good one. There we go, there's a keeper flounder. Ah. There we go, guys. There's me a flounder. Let him lay down, he'll keep. But I'm still gonna measure him. Just to be on the safe side, guys, it's always good to make sure you are legal. This guy's going in the box. This guy's going in the box. Keeper flounder. All right. Well guys, I finally got my first fish of the day. It was a good 15 and a half inch flounder. I'm at this little pinch. So all this feeds down in and squeezes down. So with this tidal flow really starting to rip out now, I knew if I threw on a gulp and I drug it along the bottom, especially after seeing those flounder doing flips out of the water, I should hook into one. So hey, I'm gonna keep working on him. Let's see if I can catch a few more before the sun sets. Yo! Oh, that was a thump. That was a thump. There's another one. I'm gonna let him eat for a minute. Let him eat, let him eat. There we go, there's another. Oh, and there he goes. <laughs> Tom, that's two. It wasn't big enough to keep, but hey, they're here. Oh, dang. Got nabbed at. All right, guys, so I beached the solo. How the current's ripping through here, it drops really fast. So I'm just gonna fish on this ledge from the bank. Feels like one. Yep, it is one. Got a good one. That's another keeper, baby. That's another keeper. Yep. Woo! -hoo -hoo. First cast, dude. Oh, I didn't get my pliers. Dang it. Stay there, fish. Yes, guys. We found some flounder. I'm just glad that tide really started moving. That's what's helping us so much right now. Can't beat a day fishing. Well guys, unfortunately the battery died and I caught me a little trout. He's only 13 inches, but man, the bite is turning on. Tom just caught a really nice flounder. It's been a grind today. It's been a grind, but we're finally getting on him. There we go, there's a little guy. I don't know what it is, but it's little. Little croaker. There we go. There we go, guys. Little croaker. Wow, they want this white shrimp. I tried switching and throwing a different lure. Didn't get a bite. Switch back to the shrimp, first throw. Caught another one. There we go. All right, there's another little trout. All right, get out of here. Swan dive. I was waiting all day for this, but hey, 
Sometimes you just gotta keep fishing and then they'll start to bite. Hey, a little red. All right. First red of the day. Well, that I got in the boat. Check him out, little guy. Later, dude. Yeah, let me see that slab. Oh my God, dude, that is a slab. You gotta stuff that guy, stuff and bake him. Shit, that's your PB flounder for sure. Oh, nice fish, dude. Nice fish. All right, guys, that concludes another day of Kagan fishing. We got on the flounder today. Talk about Tom with the biggest fish of the day at 21 inches. I uh, had a couple just 16 inches, and he had another 16 incher. So all in all, it was a long day, but we ended up getting on the fish. We had a couple storms roll through, but that didn't stop us from going in. Yeah. We kept pursuing the fish, and we ended up coming out victorious. Well, hey, thanks you guys for watching another episode of Catching, Catching Fishing? Catch Kagan Fishing. I'll catch you next time.